Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on another thrift flip video. I'm really excited for this one because I've got something new that I'm doing. I found a couple of pairs of boots thrifted and I'm gonna make them look brand new. So instead of buying new boots, I'm really big into recycling and upcycling. And I want to share with you guys how simple and inexpensive it can be. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll feel good about yourself, you'll feel good about the planet, and most importantly, your wallet will feel good too. I got these Fry ankle boots from a set sale for $10. So something we do in film and television is make items look worn. Take these shoes for example. We didn't want the character to have brand new shoes. So the process is called aging or breakdown. And these shoes had a lot of breakdown. Thankfully they are leather, which means we can bring them back to life. There are a few items that we're gonna need. A rag or old cloth. Rubbing alcohol and cotton balls. You could use the cloth from before as well. And last is some kind of oil. I'm using mink oil, but there's a lot of other options such as neat's foot oil, saddle oil, olive oil, baby oil, even petroleum jelly or Vaseline. First we're going to use our cloth and just rub any debris or large particles that are on the boot off of them. Next we're going to disinfect with the rubbing alcohol. Apply some rubbing alcohol to your cotton ball. Quickly work in sections covering the entire shoe in an even layer of rubbing alcohol and I made sure to get into all nooks and crannies. Also, make sure you work in a ventilated area or have a fan going because rubbing alcohol stinks. And make sure you put the cap on between applications. Once the rubbing alcohol is dry, you can move on to the mink oil. So the mink oil that I purchased came with a sponge applicator. If you don't have one, you can use a clean section from the same rag we used earlier. Get a good amount of oil on the sponge or rag and wipe in a circular motion across the entire boot. The most important thing here is not to put on too much and to make sure whatever you're applying is a thin, even coat. Mink oil and any of the other oils I mentioned can stain your boot. That's why it's important to apply an even layer. Once I covered the whole boot, I used a dry side of the sponge to just go over the whole thing again, making sure it was even. Then leave it overnight to dry, and let's see how they turned out. So the fry boots turned out way darker than they were previously because of the mink oil. I don't mind this darkening at all, I think it adds a nice rich tone to it, and they definitely look better than they did previously. All of the major scratches, rubs, marks are gone, and now they're just a smooth, solid color. They almost look brand new, and I'm super stoked about that. These boots are actually on the Fry website right now for $390.17 Canadian. $10 well spent. On to my next bootiful find. I love puns. So my job is not shopping, but I see a lot of what the shoppers buy. And on the show I'm working on now, we see a lot of wishbone shoes. Before this show, I honestly didn't know the brand existed, but now I've started to notice. And while perusing a value village, I just happened to find these in my size. So they definitely had some minor stains and some major ones, but I kind of fell in love with them. So I decided to try and fix them up. So these boots are made of suede, which is leather, but it is a different leather than the previous boots I showed you. And therefore we're gonna need a different method to clean them up. There are products called suede brushes, which you will need for this, um, and erasers. You don't need a specific suede eraser, it's literally just an eraser. So just to make your boot look new again, you're supposed to brush it in one direction continuously. This direction is against the nap of the fabric. To help explain this would be reversible sequins. It's the sequins that when you brush in one direction, you see Nicolas Cage, and when you brush in the other direction, you see a heart. But brushing it back and forth a few times, you'll figure out if you'd rather look at Nicolas Cage or a plain heart. So once you've gone over it many, many times, you can brush it down to the correct direction and it should look pretty good. So that is the basic way to restore your suede. But if you have any staining, you've got to go a little further than that. 
So the first method we're going to try is using the suede brush still. Now, instead of going in one direction continuously, you're going to go over the stain back and forth using a pressure depending on how bad the stain is. So if the stain's not so bad, try a light pressure. If it's not coming out, try a little harder until the stain is gone. This method is using the eraser. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a special eraser. It can literally be the eraser on the back of your pencil. So basically we're just gonna try and erase the stains. Pretend like they were never there. You can rub the eraser back and forth over your stain and just try and get it to work away that stain. You're gonna get a lot of eraser bits like I did. This method didn't work for me either. And just to give you a time frame, I was scrubbing and erasing for like 10 minutes each and I was seeing no effect. Okay, but seriously, my arms were tired the next day. I really scrubbed these boots. So then I went on to a slightly more extreme method. Another stain removal method is a razor blade. You can use the blade to just try and scrape the stain away. So using my trusty pink razor, I attempted to remove the stain to no avail. Now, normally when you're wearing suede boots, you want to avoid water at all costs. But this time we're gonna use it to our advantage, hopefully. Using your suede brush and a cup of water, you're gonna brush on an even layer of water. This is a little more difficult to do than you would think. The suede is kinda resistant to water, so you've really gotta brush it on. It's super important that you get everything. Everything has to be wet. Well, water can stain or change the color of your suede boots, so I really wanted to avoid water. But in the end, I figured, how different could a pair of black boots be? And just in case there was discoloration or staining, I decided to do both boots, just so they would match. They can be discolored together. Using the rag from earlier, you can blot off any excess water. Once the boots were completely covered in water, then I focused on the stain. So once you've worked over your entire boot, then it's time to leave it to dry. Blot off any excess water again, and then stuff the boot with scrap fabric or paper so that it can dry in its proper shape. And here are the fruits of my labor. When I had to go through every method to try and remove this stain, I was panicking inside. It's like, nope, that's not working. Nope, that's not working. Oh my. And then having to resort to water, the worst enemy of suede, I was very reluctant. But seeing the final look of these boots, I'm blown away. Aside from a few missing star studs, they look new. Comparing them to similar boots on their website, they could be anywhere from 278 to 378 Canadian dollars. I paid $27.99. I'm so glad both these boots turned out awesome, and hopefully you can use these methods to reinvoot, reinvoot your boot, <laughs> reinvigorate the boots you already own, or just like me, give new life to boots you find secondhand. Hey guys, thank you so much for saving the planet with me. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or check out my Instagram for more thrifting fun. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.